Grace, how are you? Hey Grace, good thanks. How about you? Yeah, not too bad. As president of the Student Union, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, so this is my fourth year being involved with the Student Union. I started off as a volunteer and I've been a rep for the last three years. I've been involved in many communities here, such as the queer community, um, the volunteers program, and it's been a fantastic opportunity and I really want to extend that same warm welcome to all students at Swinburne in 2021. Wow, that sounds really cool. So tell us a little bit about what the union can do for students. So the primary role of the student union is to represent all students to the university itself. Uh, in previous years, we've run some pretty big campaigns, including one to extend census date during the COVID lockdowns, give students a bit more of a chance to adapt to online study. We also provide a range of services such as free food, printing, uh, cheap drinks, uh, social events, that sort of thing. We also run a robust group of collectives as well as a volunteers program. That sounds great. So where can these students go to find some community and some friends and some guidance with their studies? The SSU is all about community. We run multiple collectives, some of the biggest being our queer collective and our women's collective. We're also developing a robust <clears throat> accessibility collective and First Nations student collective. For all you international students out there, we have an international representative who's keen to meet you all in the upcoming International Mixer and look out for him later in this video. On top of that, we run a large volunteers program. And finally, but not least, is the Hammer and Swine, our bar on campus with cheap drinks, cheap food, and great community spaces and events for all. So James, if I was a Sumo student as I actually am, how can I get in touch with the union? The Student Union's largely been online for the last 12 months and we've developed our communication channels there to make sure that everyone can contact us. Make sure you check us out on Facebook or feel free to email us at ssu at ssu.org.au. We're looking to be back on campus in the coming months and we're looking forward to seeing all of you there soon. All right, well, thank you so much for joining us, James, and thank you for your lovely insight. No worries. Thanks very much, Grace. And to all you students, looking forward to seeing you in 2021. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too, Grace, even if it's through a computer screen. Okay, Ailish, can you tell me a bit about yourself and your role? I'm the General Secretary at the Swinburne Student Union, which means my primary roles are to oversee all of our reps and council members to make sure that everyone's achieving all their goals in their areas and also to keep an eye on the financial situation. So I have to be aware and on top of all, all our financial reporting and our spending. Cool. So how do I become a member of the Simba Student Union? I'm glad to hear you want to sign up. It's a super easy process. Simply go to our website, go to ssu.org.au forward slash 2021 and it will take you straight to a little page where you pop in your details. It should take less than five minutes and then you sort it. Oh my God, wow. So Ailish, as a student student, where can I go to enjoy student life and socialize and participate in events? Well, the number one spot on campus to socialize is definitely the Hammer and Swine. Really? It's a bar with food and drinks located on the third floor of the UN building. There are also specific events that are run in the bar and at other locations, drinking and non-drinking events. And the best way to keep in the loop about all your options there is to follow us on Facebook and Instagram at the Swinburne Student Union. That sounds like a really cool, groovy place. What if I am at home and I have no way of accessing it? The lovely Grace here, who's very subtly plugging herself, has put together a Discord so anyone can be a part of that. And the details for how to join are... Where are the details for how to join? Uh, right on the screen right now. Whoa! Right on the screen right now! Wow, Eilish, that sounds like so much fun. Thanks for illuminating me on all those hot tips about the union. You're welcome, Grace. Maybe you should join. Oh, maybe I will. Hi, Jess. How are you? I'm well, thanks. How are you, Grace? I'm good. Was that me? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Do you want to just start off by telling everyone a bit about your role and who you are? I've just finished my media and communications degree, majoring in professional writing and editing. And I'm just about to start my master's of research. I'm also taking on the role of swine editor this year. Where can I see the creativity and contribution of my fellow students? Yeah, we want to know what you're concerned about, what you believe in, what's important to you. The role of our magazine is basically to give you a platform 
to do that and get that information out there. Zoe and Tina have done a really great job of revitalizing the website and that's something we want to continue. We also have four editions that happen throughout the year. Our first themed edition is social. So we're happy for people to take that however it means. We're happy to receive work from all kinds of students. You don't have to be a writing student. Happy to see any kind of design work or photography. Yeah, artwork as well. Yeah, all of that stuff can be um, part of our magazine. Announcements are made regularly on our social media platforms as well. So make sure you follow us on Instagram and Facebook page. Yay! Well, thank you, Jess. It was lovely to chat to you. Lovely to meet you. My name is Rakesha and uh... I'm your international representative for the Student Union. I study mechanical engineering and uh, I'm in my fourth year, so it's my final year at Swinburne. So how does the union support international students? So the union is actually a very diverse um, a set of people, uh, people from all around the world and uh, all sorts of cultures. Uh, we try to play an, a very active and fair role in, in the ongoing improvements of the university. So last year we had the Free Feeds program. Um, it was designed just for people with food insecurities, uh, for from COVID-19. A lot of international students who had difficulties took that opportunity to get free food for the week, their free groceries, and it helped a lot of uh, international students. And generally, the union has a lot of multicultural events all over the year. They have Holi and a lot of events of that sort, which the SSU organizes to bring people of different cultures together. Everyone from all sorts of backgrounds can learn different cultures. They can be a part of different uh, you know, ceremonies and uh, events. Well, thank you yes. so much. Hey, Nikatha, how are you? Hey, Grace, I'm doing good. I'm the 2021 Women's Representative of the Swinburne Student Union, and I'm studying Bachelor of Health Science and Bachelor of Science. So, can you tell us a little bit about what the Women's Collective is? Basically, the Student Union's uh, Women's Collective is an organization that aims to represent advocate and empower women and female identifying students of Swinburne. Uh, we basically run a lot of events, workshops, and also host social activities for the students. We provide sanitary items, razors, condoms, and basically other necessities that female identifying students might need urgently on campus. Where could I find it? Well, right now we are located on level two of the AD building and um, the office or the space is open from 8 a.m. up until 5 p.m. on all days when the semester is running on campus. Thank you, Nikitha. Thanks for no meeting problem. <laughs> How are you? I'm well, thank you, Grace. Lovely to see you. So, would you care to share a bit about yourself? I'm Alexander Edwards. I'm currently the queer rep for the Swinburne Student Union Queer Collective. I study psychology. I identify as gay as well as gender fluid. Lovely. Can you tell us a little bit about what the Queer Collective is? So, the Queer Collective is kind of made up of two parts. We have a physical space on campus, which is our queer collective room and so that space is currently located level two of the ad building it is a safe space where anyone on campus can come in chill and just be themselves um, and it's a space that we actively try to make welcoming and comfortable for everyone um, there's couches there's bean bags you can study in there hang out with friends game uh, it's just a really lovely, great space. It's lovely. I've been there. It's one of my favourite spaces on campus. <laughs> really great in summer because air conditioning. That's true. Air conditioning is such a big asset of queer space. And free condoms. Condoms, dental dams, tampons, pads, and then heaps of information as well. So we yeah. want to make sure everyone stays safe. Yay, safety! And then on the other side for the Queer Collective, we have our online presence through Facebook. And we also have the events that we run online in person as well. Also working with Swinburne community to help better the lives of queer students on campus in any way that we can. Thanks for joining me. Thank you so much for having me. This has been amazing. Thanks for joining us, everyone. We're all looking forward to seeing you in 2021. This year is going to pose many challenges and many opportunities. And we, your student union, are looking forward to being there with you at every step. Thank you very much.